Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, the globalists, the world leaders, and the elite are all working together to crash this current world order to bring about a new world order, specifically the coming empire of the Antichrist. We keep hearing about the Great Reset Agenda, which sounds a whole lot to me with what the Bible calls the coming tribulation period. And we keep hearing about Agenda 2030, which is basically the plan they have in place to have a one world government in place by the year 2030. Well, they are coming out plainly and saying that they, that they want to accelerate the Great Reset Agenda and Agenda 2030. In fact, the way it's sounding it's looking a whole lot like they are accelerating this agenda to Agenda 2023 or Agenda 2024 at this point. Thank you to all of you that had sent me this. Uh, this is recently in from the National Pulse. The World Economic Forum says it will accelerate implementation of Agenda 2030. Folks, listen to this. World leaders will be gathering together later this year, 2023, to accelerate the implementation of Agenda 2030, according to an, an announcement made by the World Economic Forum earlier this week. The United Nations and the World Economic Forum appear frustrated by a lack of progress made toward their Great Reset Agenda alongside Agenda 2030. The executive chairman of the World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab, said previous efforts to implement their plans suffered unforeseen setbacks due to the medical emergency, I'll call it, major, ne major negative impacts of climate change and the rising cost of food and fuel everywhere due to the conflict in Ukraine. Global leaders and representatives are therefore being summoned to strategize and expedite the progress of what the World Economic Forum refers to as arguably the greatest ever human endeavor undertaken to create peaceful, just, equal, and sustainable, sustainable societies. The United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs has argued that practical solutions that can accelerate progress on the sustainable development goals of the United Nations, or SDGs as they call them, will be urgently needed. The World Economic Forum is focusing on something called civil, or sorry, civic participation to push its plans. They describe this as tackling ec economic inequality, gender imbalances, corruption, and environmental degradation, degradation. In the quest to build back better, says the World Economic Forum, civil society is proposing new ways of achieving the SDGs sustainable development goals, and creating a better post-pandemic world. The world, listen to this, the World Economic Forum plans to assemble world leaders after the highly anticipated Sustainable Development Goals Progress Report is published by the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, later this year. I mean, folks, they're flat out coming out and telling you their plans here. They're plainly telling us that they want to accelerate Agenda 2030. And we're hearing that the world leaders are going to be gathering together, together later this year in 2023. And the United Nations is going to be involved in accelerating the implementation of, 20, uh, of Agenda 2030. Folks, you can't make this stuff up. I mean, when you look at the Great Reset Agenda and Agenda 2030, it sure looks a whole lot like what the Bible calls the coming tribulation period. And if we know the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ needs to occur before the Antichrist is revealed and before the tribulation period begins, how close are we to the rapture? I would say a lot closer than people realize. All I can tell you is if you're watching this video right now and you do not have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real, Jesus is alive, and Jesus is coming back, and he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. 
This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross at Calvary, so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, he was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. And he was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell is a real place. It's eternal torment. It's eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven. And he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you. I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming. And he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me. And God bless you all.